actually met at Chatsworth Road Markets a few weeks back, so it was very nice to see you here down at um, Tottenham Green. Very unique product you've got here. Thank you. Um, so, for those that don't know, can you talk to me a little bit about what's in it? And it's classic, classic kimchi. Oh yeah, so um, kimchi is um, Korean fermented food made with um, cabbage, um, red chili pepper, and a kimchi paste. Yeah. But uh, basically, any vegetable going through um, fermentation process can be kimchi. Yes. So naturally, we have a uh, radish kimchi, cucumber kimchi, and uh, like white kimchi without red chili pepper at all. Yeah. So yeah, um, like uh, basically kimchi is. Um, I think uh, when you think about um, Italian food, you naturally yeah. think about pasta or pizza. So the, like. Like when you think about um, Korean food, kimchi is that kimchi. kind of thing. Except bread and butter. Yeah, yeah. You cannot, you cannot um, uh, talk about kimchi uh, without kimchi about um, Korean food. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what I loved about when I initially saw your stall, you'd created these amazing pancakes. Thank you. That's right. You'd mix the kimchi okay. with some flour and created these incredible pancakes. Literally, it's the best, one of the best things I've ever tasted. <laughs> It was so good that we can't even show you the product today because they've sold out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, very, very popular. Um, how did you come up with that recipe? Oh, well, that recipe is quite common one as well, but uh, the kimchi pancake demo, the idea itself is uh, when you think about kimchi, it's more like a pickle and uh, like a, quite a strong flavor. Yeah. So they don't know how to cook it or how to use it. Yeah. So we would like to show, because the recipe is really simple, so it's not very hard to do it. Yeah. So just like a one-to-one -one ratio with the flour and our kimchi and a little bit of the water. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we did that too. and uh, just like you said, with kimchi, uh, you can eat it as a low kimchi yes. and also uh, as a part of the main ingredient, you can stir fry it with the rice, exactly. noodles, vegetable, Very or, yeah, or like make it as a soup, stew or like a pancake. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a very, very versatile and beautiful tasting product. It's lovely. So um, obviously you've sold out today, but if people want to find more kimchi, I mean, where, where can they go? We've got Seoul Kimchi E9. Oh, what, what's this E9 about? Oh, E9, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, we're from Seoul, but uh, yeah. at the moment we're based in the E9, Hackney uh -huh. area. Hackney so, area. Yeah, yeah, to um, um, identity. Oh, <laughs> wicked. Bring yeah. you a bit of Korea to Hackney. I yeah. love that. <laughs> so, yeah, we can find you on Facebook and online and everything. Seoul Kimchi E9. Yep. Yeah, and um, again, really strongly recommend this product. It's absolutely beautiful. So, thank you very much. Enjoy thank the rest you. of the market. <laughs> Wow, what is that? This is a uh, Sardinian fiore sardo. It's what, sorry? Sardinian pecorino. Okay, yeah. It's a sheep cheese. It is, so this is all sourced from Italy? In it's from Sardinia. Everything is from Sardinia. Everything here is from Sardinia. Wow. Everything is from Sardinia. Amazing. Uh, and you are Sardinian, as you said, so you've sourced the best produce and brought it right yeah. here to Tottenham. That's amazing. Um, we do market here and around London, we got another such market as well. Really? Where about your market? We do Marylebone. Yeah. Uh, we do Church Street. Yeah. We do Portobello. Uh, a lot of people here at Portobello as well, which is a great indication as well that you know, you're finding really great high quality produce here in Tottenham. Because and we do the, be that, the best one is uh, Birwe Street in Soho. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do that one as well. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's see. So you've got your cheeses, you've got okay, your we got, uh, antipasto. <laughs> the Sardinian sausage. Sardinian sausage, yeah. Uh, it's gluten free and dairy free. Yeah. We got the Sardinian prosciutto. Oh, this How's is my favorite. Going, Hello. Oh. And here, no, come, 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 come. <laughs> No, 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 come in. We got the pancetta. Is this one? Pancetta, yeah. No, come in, that'd be good. We'll talk, we'll talk to the event organizer. Uh, She's busy. She's, she's on a mission. <laughs> pecorino organic. Yeah. Pecorino smoked. Yeah. Some spread cheese from Sardinia as well. Okay, course. yeah. Uh, mallet caviar. Caviar, wow, look at this. Sea urchin caviar. Amazing, yeah. And after we got organic sea sauce. All organic. Yeah. Tuna from Sardinia. And uh, Sardinia honey. So, uh, this is incredible. I mean, you've literally got like a real taste of Sardinia right here in Tottenham, you know, sourced authentically from a Sardinian himself. This is great. This is fantastic. Now, what can I try? What would you recommend? Uh, this? I recommend this cheese. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. We're both of them. <laughs>
What have you changed it? This is pecorino, uh, it's cold pressed pecorino. milk and smoked. Yum! It's not pasteurized cheese, not it's pasteurized. Uh, rare milk. Mm. It's very healthy and... So all the ingredients in are all obviously from... From Sardinia. From Sardinia as well. Yeah. yeah. What about the meat? What does that mean? The meat is... Uh, it's curried meat from a wild pig from the middle of Sardinia in the mountain. Okay. Uh, this is the sausage with chili. Thank you. Alright, let's just go. Sausage with chili. This one is the prosciutto. Oh my god. I can't be vegetarian tasting this. This is too good. <laughs> wow. This is what, you know, I love about the Italian culture. This I can sit here and just eat antipasto all day. This one? My favorite. It's your favorite? <laughs> you can like you can call you me. can call prosciutto this one. Prosciutto. Yeah. Okay. The other Very one good. is not prosciutto. And it's served up. Um, so usually, when when do the Italians eat this? So do you make like is it antipasto platters? Or you yeah, have we can food? do antipasto like chopping border. Yep. Uh, you can use for do a nice dish as well. Eh? Okay. How do you best recommend serving up the cheese? What's the best way to... You can grate on the pasta, you can uh, eat like uh, antipasto, yeah? Yeah. Like you say. Uh, it's very, is it, cheese. It's a really very Italian thing to do, like the, the whole appetitive, where they'll sit there and have like... Yeah. yeah with the, can... Maybe with the, this one, it's better the white wine. Yeah. Uh, with the cheese or carrot meat, it's better the red wine. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, more, more food, more wine. <laughs> yeah. Just keep eating it. Yeah. Excellent. Well, grazie. Thank you very right. much. Um, and where can we find more of you if anyone wants to find your produce? Okay. Do you have a website? We've got a website. Yeah. Sardos Fine Food. Sardos Fine Food. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Very high quality produce.